Hi, I'm Paul Akers, and one of the greatest privileges I get to do is to fly. Yeah. I've flown all over the world, but one of the most beautiful places I've ever flown is in the Pacific Northwest, and particularly the Cascades. Today was a beautiful, crystal clear winter day, cold, with over 100 mile visibility, and I decided on this first day of the new year to go out and take a look around and enjoy the spectacular scenery that we enjoy living in the Pacific Northwest. We took the runway 3-4 and off we went. We took a left turn for a downwind departure out over Bellingham Bay and looked up towards Victoria in British Columbia. It's a great shot of Victoria. And then we crossed down south and we began to wind our way through the Cascades, through endless valleys, ridges, peaks, and spires. Most people don't realize just how vast the Cascades are. On this particular day, we flew for over three hours at over 200 miles an hour. And we never ran out of places to explore. As far as the eye could see, we wandered in and out of valleys, ridge lines, and found the largest bluffs and cliffs, great valleys to ski in. As we got as far east as we went, we did a low high speed pass by Winthrop and then wandered up through the valleys that the glaciers had carved. This is one of my favorite things to do is to fly low and enjoy the scenery as it engulfs you on both sides. As we came up this valley, Mount Liberty Bell was right in front of us. Hold on tight, we're going to take a hard right turn. And there it is. Watch this ridge line as we shoot by here. One of the peaks even looks like the Matterhorn. There it is. Look at how sharp these peaks are. One of my favorite places to hike in the summertime is the Cascades. Flying over them in the wintertime looks entirely different though. We actually even found a skier out here on Ptarmigan Ridge, skinning his way up the mountain. This is Ptarmigan Ridge right here, a favorite hiking spot of mine in the summertime. There's the skier. Now we're coming around the south side of Mount Baker looking up at the mountain over 10,000 foot. As we come along the back side, you can see the sun reflecting off the snow and you'll see deep crevasses in the snow. And there's a steam vent right there with steam coming out of it from an active volcano. We then do a high speed pass right by the summit there it is. And then back to Bellingham, crossing the shoreline at Bellingham Bay, and landing at 3-4. What a spectacular so, uh, day. Where we go today? Oh, uh, went to, uh, <laughs> soon, went to, uh, Victoria. <laughs> so then we turned back and we went back, uh, east over 
over Mount Baker and then uh, flew by Winthrop, took a flyby over the airport. You want to do that again? Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. It's Three amazing. hours of flying. That's a long time. Three. Three hours. Your butt sore? Then we flew back. Uh... Yep, there's nothing quite like flying in the Cascades. A special privilege summoning Mount Baker. The twin sisters with Mount Baker in the background. The twin sisters in the summertime. Mount Baker at sunset. One Furaco Victor in the air. And an outrageous sunset over the San Juan Islands. We are truly blessed to live in the most beautiful place in the world, the Pacific Northwest.